Dude, so I think I have my, I think I have my two volunteers, right? Jill, is that you? And Jing, you want to? Okay. So I know nothing about them except I just picked them out right before class. Okay? Okay, go, you go in the back. Okay. I'll introduce you when we get done. And, and don't talk to each other. Don't no, don't, don't, like, don't have a conversation. No, it's going to be really awkward, but that's okay. Just, do you have your phone? Just play it. Just, just get on your phone. Show her how Chinese characters work on the phone. All right. I, I have no idea what's going to happen here, but I've done this a few times in the past, and it has never failed to be absolutely amazing. But, bro, go one more. So here's the thing. This is not true for everybody, but by and large, in the West, this is what we do, okay? When you ask Westerners about themselves and who they are and what they do, this is, this is on average, what it looks like, okay? And in East Asian cultures, right, you get this more of a sort of a Taoist approach of underestimating abilities, okay? So I don't know anything about these women. They don't know what this is. Let's see what happens, okay? May work, may not work. You can put it back up there so people can see. Oh, yeah, 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 good. Okay, come on. Did you show her Chinese characters? Okay, don't look at the screen. All right. You can come stand... Just stand right here. Okay, cool. So, are your mics on? So, we, you, so Jing, where, where, where so you, got, you have to talk right into the mics. Where are you from? China. I know, where in China? Beijing. Beijing. And how do you pronounce your full name? Like, the way your grandmother first. pronounces it, yeah. Um, Xia Jing. Whoa. <laughs> Hang it, did you get that? <laughs> Say it again. Xia Jing. Where'd you get Jing? You told me Jing. Yeah. I didn't hear that at all. Say it again. Xia Jing. Okay. <laughs> all right. Xia. Can you say that? Xia <laughs> Zhu. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> okay. And Jill, where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. What's your full name? Uh, Jillian Black. Black? Yeah, last Jillian name Black. Black? All right. So listen, man. So tell me about yourself. What do you do? What do you do? What are, what are your hobbies? What do you do for fun? What are your hobbies? What do you? Um, I like to make people. I like to make people laugh. Yeah. Um, and are you good at it? I think so. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't know. I, I go to the beach a lot. I live on the beach. My major is accounting. Are you in? Uh, major is accounting. Yeah. So that's a it's it's a serious major. And how are you in accounting? Um, I'm all right. I mean, you got to be I'm smart. I'm into it, yeah. You have to be smart to be an accountant. I okay. mean, I think, right? Yeah, it's not like that. I don't think it's that hard. Yeah? Okay, so what else? What do you do for hobbies? Um, for hobbies, I hang out with my friends a lot. I, um, like I said, I go to the beach because I live there. Um, I played sports in high school. Yeah? What would you play? I played basketball and soccer. Yeah? Yeah. You any good? Like, not great, but <laughs> still played. All right. All right. Jing. 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 I'll just go with Jing. How about you? What do you do? Um, I do ceramics and watercolor. You do cera ceramics? Uh, yeah. And, and watercolor? Watercolor? Oh, yeah. Watercolors? Uh, how long? And, are you, how are you any good? Um, I'm all right. <laughs> how long have you been doing it? Um, all high school. All in high years, school? Yeah. So like four years, and now, and you're what year are you here? Freshman. Oh, you're a freshman. Uh -huh. And what else? Tell me about what do you study? A uh, biology major. Your biology. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And. And. Are you smart? I don't know what you mean by that. Did you, take, did you take the SATs? Yes. What did you score? 1,400. Uh, 1,400? Um, out of what? Out of 1,600. Out of 1,600? Oh. 
<laughs> All right. All right. All right. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's smart either. How about, what'd you score? I got like a 1,900. 1,900 out of? 2,400. 1,900 out of 2,400. Yeah. So, all right. So, what else do you, what else? Don't mind them. What? Don't mind them. They're just yeah. being rowdy. What, um... So tell me about like your friends. How many, do you have a lot of friends? Uh, I'll come back to you in a second. Not really. Yeah? Like, I have some close friends. You have some close friends? Yeah. Who are you in your friend network? Like who are you? Like what kind of person are you? Um, I don't know, the fun one. <laughs> the fun one? Yeah. What makes you say that? Um, I don't know, because they laugh a lot when I'm with them, and yeah. they always need me when they have parties and stuff. So you guys are, sim the two of you are similar in that way, yeah? Yeah, I like to fuck around a lot. Yeah? Wait, the, no, you don't mean, you mean figuratively. Yeah, 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 figuratively, right. figuratively. Don't worry. Right. Okay. <laughs> Just. Dude. I had to, did I not have to ask that? <laughs> All right. That's not creepy. All right. So you like to play around? Yeah. Um, last year when I was a freshman, I used to like camp out at Finley Commons a lot. Yeah? So listen, what are you going to do with accounting? Like, what do you see yourself doing? Well, actually, the reason why I'm doing accounting um, is because I want to travel. So like, you can have like jobs through that. Yeah, lots of different jobs. Yeah. Wait, so tell me about your accounting skills, though. Again, like, how good do you think you're going to be as an accountant? Um, I think I'll be a good accountant. accountant. Um, like, what do you mean by that, though? I mean, do you think, are you going to be, like, r r really skilled and good? I mean, yeah, well, how good of an accountant are you going to be? Um, I think I'll be a good one. I mean, I feel like I'm on the right path to become a successful person in, like, corporate America. Yeah. If that makes sense. I mean, I helped my friends with accounting to 11 because I took it last semester. Uh huh. So by like the looks of that, if it keeps going up, then mm -hmm. I'll be going up with it. <laughs> yeah. And how about you? What do you you study biology? How are you? How? What do you want to do? Um, genetics research. Yeah. Do you yeah. think you'll be good at it? I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. All right. I don't know yet. Okay, wait, hang on. You have 1,400 on there. Are you good at math? Am I good at math? Yeah. Um, I don't take math now. Oh, because you tested out of all the math? <laughs> Do you still take math? Nope. Hey, did you test out also? Uh, yeah. All right. Um, so, no, don't look at that. Uh... So what do you need to work on? I need to be more serious, I feel like, sometimes. Uh -huh. um, I need to have better study habits. Like, you mean, like, as, like, a, a student or, like, as, like, a person? Yeah, just as a person. Um, I, I don't know what you mean, like, what I need to work on as a, as a person. Yeah, what do you need to work on as a person? I feel like I need to be more, more cultured. All my friends are like the same. So, uh huh. So that's why. There you are. You got another partner in humor. We're going to be friends. W what do you need to work on? Um, I guess open up more to American people. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Dude, see? I know. There it is. So she's a jokester. You're a jokester. <laughs> you, can, you can like share humor back and forth. All right. So listen, you. Didn't you didn't? You, you, I thought you would push it more, but you didn't push it more. So let me just show you what we're doing here, right? So in Western, you can look at this now. In Western cultures, we Westerners, folks like us, we tend to overestimate our abilities, focus on what we do really well. We're more talented. We see ourselves as. So um, you're saying I'm cocky? Yeah, but no, but you're not though. You're actually you you you're. Uh, I mean, just not really. Not as much as you could have been. Not as much as many other 
people have been in the past when I bring them up here. But it's sort of a little bit, but not really. No, it's not cocky, though. It's just your average for probably a Westerner. But whereas underestimating abilities, right? So we're asking her, like, how, are you smart? I don't know. Like, 1,400 out of 1,600, that's pretty smart, right? Focus on tasks that we don't do well being self-critical, so that's like enhancing reputations because in East Asian cultures, it's like, look, we, Jill and I know that the way we enhance our reputations, the way I enhance my reputations is come in here and say, hey, so um, I was uh, at a conference last week and I was talking to these, I got invited, better yet, I got invited to a conference last week and I gave a presentation in front of these uh, military generals and it was really fascinating and I start telling you about I didn't get invited to a conference last week but I start telling you the things that I did and then you they, they see me and then suddenly it's like oh you're so you enhance your reputation and so that's how we operate right like you're gonna say the good things that you do but Jing is that, is that all right yeah. yeah okay it has to be because I just can't go further the, pro the issue with her is if she puts herself out there, right, then that actually diminishes her reputation. Now, if she's been westernized, it's a different thing, but it diminishes it. It's like you, your parents are going to be like, yeah, so Jill, she's an accounting major. She's at Penn State. She's doing great. What was your GPA last semester? 3.7. Oh, okay. So she got a 3.7, and she's so smart, and she's amazing. But her parents aren't going to say that. They're not going to go to the local community and their friends and be like, so Jing went to Penn State and she, Jing, and she's got a 4.0 in her first semester. Isn't that, they're not going to say that. But your parents, would, your parents would be like all over that. Definitely. Right? Yeah. Yep. And your, her parents aren't going to be. Because for her parents, that elevates them. And for her parents, it diminishes. So you don't want to be out front. See, can you go back to that photo of the party congress? See right there? You don't want any, but you don't want to stand out there. Everybody knows who has the power, but you don't want to stand out. In the U.S., you want to be, you want to be whoever that person, you want to find that, that, that one important space right there. Do you see, do you know who the party leader is? You don't even know who it is. We have no idea. In the U.S., there's going to be a podium there, and that's just going to stand up. And we're, Jill and I, we're going to want to be in that position right there. And we're going to want everybody to see us, and we're because we're Westerners, and that's how it operates. But here, for you, it's like, no, nah, man, you want to be one of the crowd because your reputation comes from being one of the crowd, not from standing out. Do you want to say anything about that? Any other Chinese students want to say anything about that? <laughs> uh, so one other thing that I want to mention that it's not like people, uh, like parents, don't want to showing off their kids. It's like everybody knows that your kids is good, your kids are good, and you won't wait them to ask you like how's your right. kid, how how are they doing, and then you can unintentionally say that oh they got a four point oh last semester oh that's so good now it's like nothing. <laughs> I so you don't, don't say, do so you never start, you don't yeah, lead with don't that. You don't start it. Your parents are going to with that. Yeah, you don't start it, but you want to say that. Right, so you want, you want everybody wants to say it, because you want to, if I'm your parent, I want to feel proud of you, and if I'm your parent, I want to feel proud of you. I'm going to, but I just wouldn't say that. Yeah, right. My mother-in-law talks about, who's from New Jersey, by the way, talks about how she talks about her kids so much that when people see her in the grocery stores, they avoid her. It's like, oh my God, just stop. I can't listen to your stories about your stupid kids anymore, right? But you wouldn't have that problem. Okay, not stupid kids, but your silly kids. Anything else? Do you want to add anything else about the overestimating abilities? It, what's your GPA? Uh, uh, I'm still a freshman, so I don't have one. How'd you do on the SATs? Uh, I'm like 1410, something like Are you that. smart? Uh, uh, kind of, like, uh, yes. 1410. <laughs> Do you even know what we're doing and you still can't say it? Yeah, it's, it's hard for me to say that. It's like, you don't say that. Yeah, you don't say it. I didn't we're, say 
You didn't say that. No, you didn't. And so, but I've had people, listen, I've had, I brought students down here who scored, who had like, I ask them, are you smart? And they're like, yeah. And they have like a 2.3 GPA in sociology. And I'm like, seriously? How'd you do on the, G- the SATs? It's like, well, I don't know. I got a 940. I'm like, okay. I had an, a young woman from China. She had a perfect score two semesters ago, a perfect score on the SATs. I said, are you smart? And she's like, no, not really. Can, you see what I mean? This is the thing. But like every, like most of the Chinese students, international students here have 1,400 GPA. Yeah, exactly. So you how don't they got say here. that. Like it's not a big deal. You don't say it. That's right. But if you were American, you would. It's just, no, but this part of being an American, you would. Are you kidding? If you, if she went to China and someone asked her if she was smart, trust me, she would be like, yeah, of course I'm smart. Yeah.